Hi, welcome to my channel, Mini 4 Pro and the RC2 remote control. Now you can see my printer there going in that the 4 Pro is watching. Having fun with that and it's streaming it wirelessly to my PC. Here's my PC and we're watching it via VLC, which is a free download. The link will be in the description. So download that. Then download Mona server. Very easy, link in description. Once you download it, save it to a file. See, still working well. And if I move around the drone, eventually, it's a bit of a lag to it, but eventually everything will move. There's a few seconds behind, I notice. Because you can see that yeah, now it's showing me move things around my very messy ham radio shack but this is there's no wires here this is completely wireless and it's the wi-fi that's coming from the device so the setup when you're using the remote you just tap the three dots go to transmission scroll down let's go down actually no it's at the very top my line have a look at the very top sorry about the glare here but lean it a bit like that so at the very top, and it could be the RC or the RC2, same difference. Tap live stream at the very top when you're in transmission tab. Tap it like so. It's not gonna let me while I'm using it, let me just pause. So you tap live streaming and it says RTMP, tap that. And then this is the key that I've typed. Now the words live key slash live slash key are words that I saw someone else use in a video. The RTMP dot dot slash slash was already there. What's left is the IP address of my computer. You just do, you do the usual CMD, CMD, that comes up and then type in IP, IP, small letters, C-O-N-F-I-G, and hit enter. You'll get all these figures, but one of them is the IP address. See it there, IPv4, 192.168.112, that's the one we used. If you remember there. Looks like there are other settings you can do as well. I haven't touched them. Now, it's not gonna let you start until you go back to the file that you created called Monoserver, where you put the download file, and I didn't change anything. You just double click Monoserver, that begins the server, okay? You get this window, and it says there. And back at your device, you click Start. And if the server isn't running on your PC, this won't work, but you saw it count down then. So now, the server comes to life. It's very technical, this, but it's actually quite straightforward. Uh, just, just watch it step by step. Then go to your VLC player. I've created a shortcut for it there, but it's just a video player and much more. When you double click it, it looks like this. Just go at the top, get a good focus in here. At the top here, it says media. Go down until it says open network stream. And in here, put in exactly the same key. I've copy and pasted it into my browser, but your IP address will be different. Just change the IP address. The RNTMP is already there by default with the two dots and slashes. We add the live key as well. So once you've got that, then click play here. And it does take a minute. And it will come, it sort of scrolls along the bottom and then it eventually comes to life. Now I'm not saying it's the most reliable connection in the world, but it's fun that you can do this. There you go. Did you see that the way that the, um, the key appeared there for a while at the bottom? That was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you can still record your screen and stuff. I haven't really tried. No, you can. And you can also share this to OBS and other platforms. OBS, you just go right click, add, look for a source. I've not actually done this, but VLC video source. Let's click OK and just see if it comes to life. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.
We are printing a spider for Halloween. Ham radio hotspot. 